Sean, Doc, Frankie, what have the nation been talking about? Well, I think it has to be the transition of power where Tony Blair stepped down as Prime Minister and Gordon Brown has quickly gone into his shoes. I personally have done very well, incredibly well, out of Tony Blair's time because I had the wisdom about ten years ago to place a bet at Labrooks that his last meeting will be with Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> <laughs> who would also be the Governor of California. <laughs> I watched the press conference with Brown on Wednesday and he says, I'm going to make some changes at number 10. And uh, I presume he means policy-wise, but I thought he should just make some changes to number 10, like getting rid of that door. It's been there years. Maybe change it into saloon style. Right? <laughs> or some, some of those beads that they have to separate a news agent from his house. <laughs> you know, <they'll> just... <laughs> he should stone-clad it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see him slide down on a pole. <laughs> I always think Brown looks like he's just taken the head off a bear costume like that. <laughs> <laughs> he's only got one eye. Well, only one of them works. If you're going to start making people in charge who've only got one eye, why not go with the legend that is Columbo? <laughs> <laughs> How good would he be in Prime Minister's Question Time? <laughs> just one more thing. I, uh, <laughs> Mr Cameron, my wife's a great fan of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was so wrong of, of Tony Blair t uh, to go out and say all his problems are based on his big mouth. I mean, you don't call your wife that in public. <laughs> He's been called uh, Bushy's poodle. I know that when they, they do play frisbee together. But, uh... <laughs> Bush said, uh, uh, I've heard he's been called my poodle, but he's bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> what, he's like a labradoodle? <laughs> Got, you've got Gordon Brown, you've got Tony Blair. Who looks better naked? Both mingers. Both mingers. <laughs> but I would do Tony Blair. <laughs> Tony, I know you've got your afternoons off now. <laughs> I met him on a job once. Uh, you on met him a... on a job? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Got? Are you Tony Blair? <laughs> I literally spun around and he was standing there and it was like everything went really slow and there was this big light behind him. He is sexy. He is so... Look, everyone's like, oh, well. <laughs> well, let's have a look and see if Brown and Blair are the most talked about thing this week. <laughs> Not the most talked about, but it came in second. Tony Blair handed over power to Gordon Brown. He said, give this to David Cameron, would you? <laughs> On Wednesday, Tony Blair finally went. At 12.30, he appeared at Prime Minister's Questions. At 1.30, he drove to his new home in Connaught Square. Then at 2.30, diagnosis murder. And 4.15, deal or no deal. <laughs> Jason, Joan, Alexa, what else have the nation been talking about this week? Oh, uh, Spice Girls. I'm thrilled because it's the first time they've been together in years. Victoria, apparently, as she's called now. I love it when a <laughs> gets money. And when Victoria... <laughs> Posh came over to our country and she thought she was going to be so terrific and then she found out in Beverly Hills she's fat, so she came home. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, the one that just had the Eddie Murphy baby? Scary. Scary, yes. Yeah. And now that she's nursing, I said they should call her Dairy Spice. <laughs> it turns out it was Eddie Murphy's kid. Well, it came out in a fat suit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear this? They've got this machine. This, it digitally enhances their voices. And I'd really like to be in charge of that machine. Especially when Posh Buy steps up to the mic, just press off. <laughs> she's going, oh! Let's have a look and see if the Spice Girls is there.